All right, let's bring in Mercedes Stevenson. First, Mercedes, things got quite heated between the leaders, particularly between Justin Trudeau and Andrew Scheer. But you all saw at the end just how comfortable NDP leader Dagmeet Singh seemed on stage. And there were many more moments like that. What stood out for you? Well, what really stood out for me was the amount of passion you saw. We, we haven't seen them engage directly before, and at times it was difficult to understand them because they were all trying to over-talk each other. No one wanted to cede the floor, which was a challenge, but you really saw them get into direct confrontation and take each other on. What was interesting to me is that Justin Trudeau, who's the incumbent, has the most to lose. He managed not to be the most attacked person in that debate, even though he's been the prime minister for the past four years. And when you're in the incumbent, that's really the strategy. You don't need to win the debate, but you also don't want to lose it. Andrew Scheer took a lot of attacks, but he was also much more aggressive than we've seen in the past. Jugmeet Singh, some of the best lines of the night that he delivered uh, on climate, Mr. Delay and Mr. Deny, as you heard there, and also the one on women's rights, where he came out and was talking about abortion and said a man has no place in a woman's right to choose so he had some really powerful lines also interesting that Monsieur Blanchette had such a large role in the English debate he really waited in there and took people on on the provinces especially on bill 21 which as you know some federal leaders have been reluctant to really condemn because there's a lot of votes connected to that in Quebec and then of course we had Mr. Bernier on the stage which was very controversial uh, and he tried to own the stage at times but he wasn't really successful in doing that. Eric let's bring you in six leaders that's a lot to take in and everyone was trying to get a word in. What do you make of all of that? Well, you had the Prime Minister, as you would expect in all of the debates that we've seen through history, is the Prime Minister is the person that's at the center of this. Uh, they, they all want more votes that, that belong to the Prime Minister's party from the previous election. So they all go fishing into, in his swimming pool. And so you have Scheer not laying a glove on Singh, but going after Trudeau. You have Singh not laying a glove on Scheer, but going after Trudeau. So he was very much the target in all of this. And he was, I think, in some ways trying to embrace that, to say if it's climate uh, versus pipelines, well, we're gonna, we actually believe in both a pipeline and climate while the other two were sort of staking out the turf on one side or the other. But, uh, Daryl, what, what did you read from all of that? Well, I thought the, the, the person who was the most interesting tonight was, uh, was Mr. Singh. Uh, he seemed to be the most, uh, most at ease. He was laughing several uh, times during the, uh, the course of the debate and really seemed to, have, of, the, uh, of the, uh, the leaders that we saw tonight, be most comfortable in that environment. And, I, and based on what we've been tracking tonight uh, on behalf of Global uh, uh, National, uh, what we're seeing is that he actually is the one, if t Twitter traffic is any sort of representation, who's impressed the most tonight. Talk a little bit more about that tr Twitter traffic, because I was looking at the graphs you showed, and it was interesting, both there, there's a volume side of it and there's a sentiment side and what were you seeing there? Well we were seeing that most of the conversation was obviously taking place around the two uh, big leaders so uh, Justin Trudeau and uh, and Andrew Scheer. Uh, Scheer a little bit ahead in terms of uh, over, over over Trudeau in terms of sentiment but the uh, the leader who consistently rose both in terms of volume and in terms of positive impressions all through the night was uh, was Jagmeet Singh. Yeah and we only heard him there for a second Robin where he said you know you don't have to pick between Mr. DeLay and Mr. Deny um, it was a short clip from him, but it was one of those that captured the moment of, uh, of uh, Singh kind of showing off in this. And I think you, you would agree, Daryl, that if Singh is doing well, that's not necessarily good news for Mr. Trudeau and might be better news for Mr. Scheer. Well, in fact, that's what the, the whole thing is tonight. If Mr. Scheer can just simply hang on to what he's got and turn his vote out, he's actually in a pretty good position. Sorry to disagree with Mrs. May. Uh, but uh, when you uh, turn over to the uh, question of the progressive vote, that's kind of bounding around between at least three options that were there on the stage tonight. And if uh, Jagmeet Singh's capable of pulling even a couple of points away from Justin Trudeau and turning them out on Election Day, uh, it's, it's actually better news for uh, Mr. Scheer than it is for, for anybody else.